Hi Virgo, welcome to SubQuest. My name is Spence. Welcome in if you're new. Welcome back if you're a subscriber. And if you belong to SubQuest Synergy, thanks for coming on over and taking a look at this channel. This is where you're going to get your weeklies for all 12 signs of the zodiac. So um, I hope you'll come with us. Okay, wow, a few fell out, but this one is the one that flipped over. Virgo, Raven. Raven. Okay, we're going to read this. This is from the Winged Enchantment Oracle deck, and that is by Leslie Morrison with the artwork by Lisa Hunt. I used this last week, and I found it so inspiring that I wanted to read from them again. So today you get the Raven. Okay, Virgo. And now I'm also going to be playing your nine card from the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck, and that is by Matt Hughes. These are gilded and lovely. Absolutely, look at that. Just beautiful. I know they're going to have a little bit of glare, but they're certainly beautiful. So let's go ahead and use them today. Now, this is for the week of June 14th through the 20th. I hope you fared well last week with the new moon, new moon, new moon, solar eclipse in Gemini. I think it was pretty amazing and began something that is going to be revisited six months a year from now and such we've been in the cycle the way that we kind of revisit eclipse seasons i know that i did um this week will be the anniversary one year of my mom's passing uh, she died from covid last june so i honor that and am thinking of her also i want to give a shout out to someone though who did send me the most beautiful gift this is a beautiful bloodstone, very healing, very good for anemia and blood and immune system stuff. So I'm very grateful for that. Also good for the intuition. Thank you so much. I really, truly appreciate it, Gabby. And I wanted to give you a shout out. Thank you. All right. Also, let's see. Virgo. I think that's it. Okay. We are going to be finishing up Mercury Retrograde on the 22nd. It will station to move forward again. And then it sort of ekes out, moves forward slowly but surely for the post-shadow period that lasts till about July 7th. So at that point, it'll be going forward very well. Now, I um, also know that at the end of this week on the 20th, we're going to change from Gemini season, air, into Cancer season, water, emotional. So... So be aware of that, okay? Changing elements, changing signs. Okay, so we have the Four of Wands, the Six of Swords, the Three of Wands. I'm going to show you these all individually, of course, vertically, horizontally, and big picture. Okay, then the Knight of Swords, the Tower, the Knight of Pentacles, the Fool, something brand new here, King of Pentacles, Oops. And the Seven of Wands. All right. Taking a stand for something. And with the Judgment card on the bottom of the deck. But first, before we go through that, while you're taking three deep cleansing breaths for me, if you will, bringing down the cortisol, raising your serotonin and dopamine levels, <sighs> breathing out through your diaphragm, Drop your shoulders, push your feet flat onto the floor, into the ground, and relax while I read the raven. I am raven. I am the deep magic from the north and the ancient connection between you and the immortal. I am proof that your world is changing. You're missing the hidden threads that bind your experience. These are great things at work. There are manifestations at your feet. I want to help you see the magic and teach you how to use it. I'm the bird that transports you from one realm to the next. I am the portal granting you access from the solid ground of earth. I am that which appears from nothing. There is no greater power than your own will to sustain your vision. When you see me coming down the lonely mountainside, it's time to take the rain. I may appear only once, so grab the chance when you see it. Take your whims and ground them. Take your futility and shatter it to pieces. Stop accepting the chaos around you. Stop allowing your energy to dissipate. 
and give it form and substance. You are a magician. You are the missing piece of the puzzle. You are connectivity. You are raven. You are the missing piece of the puzzle. You're needed right now. I really think that there are things moving and shaking in your life that you may not be aware of, but when you become aware of them, you will be a pivotal participant in the change that's going to happen for you in your life. I am looking at someone going through pretty big change, Virgo, and I'm saying that because, first of all, there are some cards here that just tell me that straight, straight up, right? Um, and, you know, this, this is sort of a mysterious time for you right now, for whatever reason. I think Mercury retrograde, for one. You are also ruled by Mercury, Virgo. So perhaps you just haven't been able to, to figure stuff out, or you've just been going with the flow and letting things come to you as they will, and trying to trust that when you need to meet to make your move uh, and do your part in whatever you will and I think that you've kind of been going on that um, but I'm seeing change here because of the judgment card this is a call to action it's a wake-up call Gabriel's horn announcing to the dead wake up come back to life that is a very significant change and in the center of your reading the tower and this is a shocking change it's sometimes good it's sometimes not so good and feels disruptive or an impulsive thing that just comes out of nowhere but that is Saturn square Uranus which happens on Monday so that could happen well, at the top of the line, I'm looking at the Four of Wands, and this is home, family, celebrations, getting your life together, where you can relax and celebrate it. Then I'm seeing the Six of Swords, moving forward from negativity and making the decision. I learned my lesson. I know what not to do. I'm moving forward into calmer waters. And Three of Wands, I've worked hard to take this step to go down a new road and receive back the fruits of my labor for making that difficult decision to move my life forward. Okay, I think you are hearing the call and answering the call to move your life forward from what was stagnant or unloving or any thing that made you feel like you wanted to move away, move forward, move on. Okay, then the Knight of Swords, the fastest knight in the deck, information coming in quickly and changing things. Changing the landscape. Knight of Pentacles. So we've got the Knight of Swords, the fastest knight, and the Knight of Pentacles, the slowest knight. To me, when they're facing each other in a spread, it's like they're coming toward each other, right? Is that you can see, although this one's facing head on, they're sort of coming toward each other. Okay, that's how I usually read two knights in the same row going toward each other for a tower moment. So this just can be, I just, okay, I just saw the weirdest thing and heard the weirdest thing in my head. I just saw like Paul Revere, the British are coming, the British are coming. Something, an announcement, something is being told to you or you are also taking the announcement to someone else and it doesn't necessarily have to be bad, it's just information. It's information, it's helping you move forward. Now, on the bottom here I'm seeing the fool, a brand new beginning that needs slight risk involved, probably worth it, probably worth the reward because then we have the king of pentacles, so solid ground feeling grounded, feeling confident, and being able to take action to stand up, to take a stand, to say, yep, I made the right decision. 
I'm fine now, I'm feeling solid as a rock, and I'm good to go. So whatever is changing and however you're doing it, you look pretty solid here by the end of the week. So it looks to me like the information that comes in is information that you needed. I think you might have even been waiting on the information with the Three of Wands. I think you've probably actually taken an action in the previous in the past here, maybe at the new moon, uh, where you sent out information to to move things forward into something more positive. Uh, because of the Four of Wands, because I think you want to come back together with someone for a second chance or a reunion. I'm seeing people coming together and saying, okay. Let's start over. Let's try to do something here. Under, I think that you're gonna, you're different though. I think you're different. I think the other person is different. I think that the dynamics are different. And if this is a relationship, if this is a work relationship, same thing. Same people, totally different dynamics. If this is work, this guy is not going to put up with foolishness. He's going to stand up and say, uh-uh. So, um, no arguing with the boss, if that's coming up for you, I think. It could be bad. You wouldn't want to do that right now. Not the good time in Mercury Retrograde. Um, it will be definitely <laughs> misinterpreted, misunderstood miscommunicated it's just probably not a good idea and you know he'd be like yeah okay you can have the Alaska branch you're moving you're out of here <laughs> right so you never know um, no but with the judgment card I'm, I'm thinking that there is a second chance here to talk to someone to get things settled straight something under this under the announcement or the call hearing the call to move forward is the nine of pentacles and you're so you're doing it because you're trying to get back on your on your own two feet you're trying to feel good about yourself you're trying to feel confident you're trying to earn money um if this is a job it could be a second interview the timing may not be perfectly right one of you wants it quick right now the other one is like at the end of the week i see like yeah Saturn Uranus square at the beginning of the week, someone's like, can you meet me right now? You know, on impulse, can you just come on over? Let's interview. And, and you aren't ready for it. So you're, you're like, well, how about at the end of the week? Because then I'm prob I'll be prepared to, to take my stand, to sell myself, to interview well. Um, because I need to prepare for it. Three of Wands. Um, some of you are just going to go for it. I, if, if you just off the cuff decide that you're going to go for on this interview or whatever, then, you know, I think it will actually really surprise the heck out of you because it's possible they may want you to relocate or just that. If this is an existing job, okay, and you're having a meeting with the boss, if this is an existing job, um, be careful is all I'm, I want to say. Just be you can see the pictures. Just be careful. Um, you don't want to blow up on your face, you know, in your face. You don't want it to blow up on you. Um, otherwise, you may be moving on from the job. I think that there is tension here. If this is work, there's definite tension. And there's tension here even if it's a relationship. At this point, mostly I am seeing work, but the decisions that you make right now, okay Virgo, the decisions that you make, the judgment calls, the second chance moments, for you to live the life you really want to live, okay, Nine of Pentacles, 
the decisions you make right now about where you live and you know moving forward from something that just wasn't right for you that kind of thing thinking about your future these things are very important right now Virgo but I think you, you know last week I'm trying to remember it was something about going with your your gut or your instinct use that instinct right now this week because I think something might come up this week and you'll either you'll either know to be like yeah sure I'll meet you or I don't know if I can right now you'll know whether the timing is right this for me right now is about timing but the judgment is right now right here and the tower says you it's gonna change the landscape so either way the raven Let's look at that one more time. The Raven, 28. Let's see if we can get an, another perspective now that we've seen the reading. I am Raven, the deep magic from the north and the ancient connection between you and the immortal. I'm proof that your world is changing. You're missing the hidden threads that bind your experience. There are great things at work. There are manifestations at your feet. I want to help you see the magic and teach you how to use it. I'm the bird that transports you from one realm to the next. I'm the portal granting you access from the solid ground of earth, that which appears from nothing. No greater vision than your own will to sustain. There's, I'm sorry, there is no greater power than your own will to sustain your vision. When you see me coming down the lonely mountainside, it's time to take the rain. Grab the chance when you see it. Take your women, ground it. Shatter futility to pieces. Stop accepting the chaos. This is really about seeing something, seeing something for the opportunity that it is. And knowing by your gut instinct that it's right for you, even if it changes the entire landscape of your life. If you have to move overseas, or um, learn a new language in order to work a new job. There is something here that is a big, adventurous, gotta go now opportunity. And this is saying, don't miss it. Don't miss it. It's coming in a mystical, dropping into your lap kind of way. And oh my gosh, it could be really cool. Just make sure that you let them know what you want. In this card, Seven of Wands, we, we stand up for what we want. We stand up for what it is that we're trying to do. So don't just accept whatever, right? You want to say, well, here's my conditions. If I'm going to change my life, these are my conditions, right? That kind of thing. All right. Thank you, Virgo. Good luck. Whatever this might be, please comment. I'm very curious. And um, like, share, and subscribe if you would. Click the notification bell and that thumbs up if you don't mind. And that way you'll know when I'm coming back next week. And everybody else can get the videos too. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you again then.